The region is faced with a high unemployment rate, a housing backlog, and a rising number of sheikhs in its informal settlements. Next Wednesday's elections are viewed as a moment of redemption with hopes that whoever emerges victorious will serve as a servant of the people and addresses challenges over their five-year term. I would love the councillor to bring change to support the youth. We are for the youth. I am a youth, so I need to see a lot of changes, especially with unemployment. This is the high. We have like high rate of unemployment in Namibia. After the elections on the 25th, I'm hoping for more infrastructures, more employment, and uh, I'm hoping for less corruption in the country. Uh, it's everywhere you read down the newspapers, newspapers are corruption, way ever and ever. Uh, ACC must also do their work effectively. I want to vote so that I can, the councillor can bring the change in our, in our region. And uh, I'm from Topia Zainyako. Then there is no toilets. There is no electricity and uh, there is no dustbin. This year, the majority of eligible voters spoken to say it should no longer be business as usual in the offices of those elected into power as it comes at the expense of providing the much-needed unparalleled service delivery to the masses. The return of the ballot papers have also been met with varying views. My preferences will go on the ballots. I think they have more, more transparency. You'll be able to see who wrote and what they wrote. Um, I don't fully trust the um, EVM. Ballots and EVMs, uh, I don't see any difference. Uh, I heard they are, they are back now. But uh, ballot papers, uh, apparently, it's, uh, it's more transparent. And uh, it's a good thing uh, that the best party wins or the best candidate wins. I prefer the cross. Because the cross, you will mark your own, your own, your own mark, and the AVM. I don't trust the AVM because some maybe there is cheating. I don't know, but the the, the marking you can use with your your own hands. Uh -huh.